Hello, how are you doing? Hello, very well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, could you provide us about uh, British yes, fighting knives? Is, yeah. Yes, because it's this, very interesting. Thing. This is the rarest World War II. This is the first model. Mm -hmm. This is the first model, which you can tell by the S guard. And it has the Wilkinson sword uh -huh. and FS maker's mark there. And that's the first model, and what year uh, they start? About 1940, but this is the hardest of the commando knives to find. This one with the S guard, very, very popular in England, sells about 1800 to 2000 pounds. How much is it? Uh, this one is 2000 pounds. There is a special strap on the um... well, this is this is goes the strap goes through here for the leg, um, and it's worn like this, uh -huh. or could be worn in the pocket of the tunic. Um, various patterns. This is a standard later pattern, World War II, probably 1944. Mm -hmm. This one is in relic condition as it was found. Yeah, it's found condition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a second model, which came out after this. Um, again, with the FS mark on the blade. Mm -hmm. And what they call like a ring and beaded pattern handle. Uh, this one has the back of the strap, this piece, broken off yeah. because they tend to flop around and break easy. Again, this is quite a rare model. Not as rare as this, but quite rare. This one sells for about 650 to 685 pounds. Pounds, not, not euro. Not euro, mm -hmm. no. And this one... Uh, it's a slight variation, unusual, it has a very wide cross guard. Uh -huh. um, there are a number of variations and the armourer's marks on here. Uh, plain blade with just the manufacturer on here. Mm -hmm. um, this is just a variation. There are a number of variations of commando knives. And this one not so expensive. Not so expensive. This one is 225 pounds, mm -hmm. which at the time, at the moment, is about 250 euros. Okay. So around that figure. I see you have a marine cutlass. Yeah, uh, this is, is it French one? This is French. This is quite interesting. The French had these. The Austrians had them. Mm -hmm. um, this is standard French marine boarding cutters but with its original scabbard never been cleaned never been touched um, and it's marked and dated along the top 1827 is it? yeah ah, 47 I'm 1847 sure. yeah and this one sells for about 650 pounds mm -hmm. which is about seven to eight hundred euros this one in good condition I saw yeah. a few, few cutlasses but without yeah. this cupboard yeah normally the scabbard is missing uh -huh. but this one is a nice you know and it was made as a proper fighting not mm -hmm. fighting sword and quite rare. It's like a pirate cutlass. Yeah, like a pirate, yeah. 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 They have the big guard to protect the hand. Mm -hmm. Now I would like to show to my subscribers three patterns of uh, German Navy daggers. Yeah. Uh, there is not a one by one uh, patterns because uh, it should be. No, they're different periods. Yes, d d this three, is... three different periods. And... Yeah, this is World War One period. Mm -hmm. This one is quite interesting because it has the owner's name here engraved on there. Um, this is the 19, I think it's 22 pattern. Mm -hmm. with the black handle and flame pommel so between the wars and this is the wartime early naval with the orange handled and the deluxe hammered scabbard mm -hmm. so quite an unusual variation yeah after uh, this pattern between this and this uh, was another pattern with uh, black, black handle and yeah. with, with black um, black scabbard yeah that's right with, with only one ring that's some, right yeah and some, sometimes uh, there yeah, is there's a, a number of variations yeah. of these they call this the roped um, mm -hmm. guard yeah rings could you show your daggers and uh, how much yeah. are they yeah this one is 850 euros 
Um, and this one, you know, doesn't have a button. You just pull mm -hmm. out, plain blade, clips back in. This one is 1,000. 500 euros. This is the first war model. Mm -hmm. with crown top. Nicely personalized with the owner's name. Engraved blade with anchors and crown. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And this one is the navy orange handled hammered scabbard. And this one is model 1938. That's right, oh, yeah. And manufactured by WKC mm -hmm. with the standard engraving. And special pattern, it's... Uh, with the hammered scabbard, yeah. Yes. It's a more deluxe and with, pattern. And, and with engraving on the... Yeah, this, this yeah. one's engraved. There are a number of variations mm -hmm. of scabbards. More, the more common is what they call the lightning bolt, which is this scabbard. Mm -hmm. And how much it is? This one is about um, 1,200 euros around that because the orange grip a little bit okay. more desirable. Okay, thank okay. you very much uh, See you for again. your explain and uh, And all these items <laughs> that you do viewed can be seen on my website at www.militaryantiques.co.uk. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Could you provide us about your two Scottish dukes? Yeah, no problem at all. Here you've got a classic Scottish dirk ranging from 1820 up to 1935. This particular one was purchased by a general in 1860. Um, he was a general of the 78th Scottish Highlanders. You can see on the blade there, the 78. Mm -hmm. 78 the, is, a reg is regiment. the regiment number. It's got underneath it, it's a bit difficult probably, but it's got Highlanders. Mm -hmm. uh, they were a famous Scottish regiment, and there's the battle honours in India mm -hmm. that were fought in around 1830. This is a standard dirk, but it's had the addition of the coat of arms of the general, which is there. His initials are there, mm -hmm. and this is also another coat of arms. And is it uh, wood? This is ebony wood. Mm -hmm. This is ebony wood. And these are called Cairngorm stones. Cairngorm is a range of mountains mm -hmm. in Scotland, and this is the only place the glass comes from. And this is by a famous general who was commander-in-chief of the regiment. Mm -hmm. OK? okay. Cool. And then this would normally sell for over €4,000. Mm -hmm. All those... It, well, there's Assay, it, Ava, and then Java, which is in Indonesia. I, I heard about uh, SA battle with, uh, in uh, India during the uh, Napoleonic War. That's it. That's and, it. And, this, and this regiment, yeah. 78 regiment. Were there. Yeah. Were yeah. There. yeah. yeah. That's it's one of their battle orders. Uh -huh. okay. okay. And this would normally sell, as mm -hmm. I said, for over 4,000 euros. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. This, there are separate parts. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. And these are all extra quality. Normally, they're one piece. Mm -hmm. But because of the uh, rank and the money that this man had, he paid extra to have separate pieces put on. And it was expensive for him then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The other one is probably made from parts mm -hmm. of other Scottish knives in approximately 1880, 1890. Mm -hmm. Because they are Scottish silver hallmark there and there. And also here as well, but they're different dates. So these parts probably came off another knife, mm -hmm. but they were all put together mm -hmm. officially in approximately 1880 to 1890. And you Is can it? see the similarity of this mm -hmm. as against... It's the same style? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, is it a civil knife? It's a civil knife, yeah. Oh, okay. It's civil knife. And the other one is military. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>